I can't remember how to do this. Because we have an electric car, we use that for like 99% of our journeys. I haven't filled up in diesel since November, October? It's definitely before Christmas. <gasps> a little bit nervous. I, think I don't do even it. think I get the petrol diesel, cap off. Diesel. You feel better than me. I think I'm doing it right. <laughs> you definitely put diesel in it. Seems quite expensive compared to electric. <laughs> We are going to vote, and Jack turned 18 this year. I did. You made a video about it. So this is a, this is Jack's first vote. Jack's an adult, a responsible adult. He's going to go and vote. He did it. He voted. He's a responsible adult. Do you feel like a responsible adult? No, I don't feel no. any more like a responsible adult than I did when I first turned 18. I, 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 that feels pretty cool for me, though. You voted. I like that. Yeah, good for you. That feels good. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've raised a child to voting age. That's it. Get out now. We want your bedroom. Uh, yeah. Spending money. Um, actually, I'm investing. I'm investing in in you guys. I'm investing in you. I don't normally. Well, I don't spend much more than this on a car. So this, <laughs> this is a big expensive upgrade to the channel and it will let me do a few extra things. Um, I wonder if, right, if, I, if I swap these around, do I look any better or can you just see more wrinkles? New camera, what do you think, any difference? Now it's, there are a few differences here, this is a 22mm lens on an APS-C sensor which is smaller than normal, uh, that was an f2. This is an F4, it's at what is this 24mm at the moment, but it's on a um, it's on a full frame sensor, so whoop. I don't know, that'd be what do you reckon? Can you see all my wrinkles now? Is my grey hair even greyer than it was before? Was this a bad purchase? Also, I think I'm about to go on a, a lighting spending spree as well. I've never been happy with the lighting setup I have. In the labs at work, it's a it's a very much a budget setup, and it's very difficult to control the light in those rooms and the sound as you've probably seen. Oh, it's heavy. This is a pretty terrifying purchase, but actually, this big chunk of metal and glass once it's in your hand, kind of feels worth it. It's got to try and not drop it in the sea. week ago because we were having that lovely spell of warm weather we finally found some outdoor furniture for the garden um, <laughs> it's bound to stop raining in a week or two or three right then we'll get to sit outside <laughs> Chucking down the rain, but gym's opened again in Wales, so we can go to the climbing wall.
Well that was great, it was really nice to be back, quite glad it was raining. Yeah. But this is not normally this well, when it gets this high the climate will flood. It's bloody typical, wouldn't it? It's been closed all through the lockdown, it's just opened this week and we get the rain. But it was so nice to be back, it was just really comfortable, it's a comfortable place, it's a nice workout, there's nice routes, see all the faces, see all the people again. Oh lovely, really really lovely. Well, I'm enjoying this. This is working really well, I'm getting very used to it. So uh, like with any new bit of gear, you really want to know inside out. You use it all the time, you use it a lot, you review what you're doing, you reflect as we call it these days, and you think next time I'll do this, next time I'll do that, and you get better. So you can imagine the cameras, I mean cameras have always had a lot of work in my hands, but since COVID, this little guy, this has been an incredible workhorse. The amount of work this has done has been amazing and it's still gonna get used. It's, this is a lot smaller, lighter, fits in my pocket. Um, uh, all of the live teaching we do from the anatomy lab goes through this um, and a couple of other minor cameras. So it's, I'd hate to think the number of hours this has been used for this last year. So I was, um, you know, reflecting like you do and decided it's time to go up to the next level. Um, and I can afford to do so. And sometimes you do, you need to invest in yourself, don't you? And investing in yourself doesn't always need to cost money. Sometimes it's free. Sometimes it's an investment in, in your time or a commitment. I imagine a lot of you lot, if you're watching these anatomy videos, um, you're probably already investing in yourself and you have an idea for your future. So to start down a path, you often need to invest in yourself or to go down a different path or to get further down that path requires an investment of some sort. So that's what we're doing here, you know. Um, got plenty more videos um, to make for the next blur years, right? Uh, <laughs> the human body just keeps on going. The other big news is the baby blue tits have hatched. Go and check out the Tweety Pie Bird Box. The little tiny things, not even cheaping yet.